Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris the Atari Creep? How is everyone doing today? You know, when I think of the company My Arcade, I typically think of Walgreens and I think of things like this. Now, we got a couple of these in the house. I got these for the girls uh, Christmas one year. Uh, one got this one, the other one got the one that one, one. And inexplicably enough, they both play different games. <laughs> this one here has games that are probably more akin to, say, the Wii, like a handheld version of the Wii. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Uh, but the other one, probably probably more to what I'm trying to say, has a bunch of your generic 8-bit style games, you know. And to a little kid who wasn't around then and hasn't had a lot of exposure, uh, I suppose that's good enough. I mean, the build quality on these things, fairly well done. And uh, it's enough to keep a kid occupied in the backseat of a car during a trip when you're trying to get some roadhead. I, I'm going to add this to my collection. I'm not going to get rid of this one. I'm going to keep this guy. Thanks, Willie! <laughs> I was watching his review after I got this because I was curious. I, I don't remember things, guys. I'm sorry. I'll watch something and then tomorrow it'll be gone, okay? But I was curious as to what he thought about this thing. I saw that at the end of the video. He was like, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I hope he has another one in his collection. Or he, like, legitimately um, just wanted to thin it out and this is one of the items. Anyway, regardless, this came from a buddy of mine, uh, Willie of Arcade USA. Uh, about two videos back, I did an unboxing of a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of that here in the near future. But regardless, he sent along this My Arcade Pocket Player featuring Galaga, but it also includes Galaxian and Xevious. If you're if you're you've been around this channel, you know Galaxian is one of my favorites. I actually prefer it over Galaga. I'm not saying it's a better game. Fucking relax, calm your tits. I just prefer to play it more. Maybe because I played it on the Atari 2600 a lot as a kid before I got my NES and was able to play Galaga regularly. So what we'll do is we'll look over here in the back. We've got a giant box here that's just for large full color screen, but it says in multiple languages. I apologize for the glare and, of course, the blurriness. Let me see if I can't fix that. There we go. Um, nothing much to note here. Your social media bullshit. That's classy. I like that. This would look great. On a shelf like this displayed, you know, uh, it's nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top, but either like this or like this. There's a whole bunch of these you can buy. Maybe it'd be cool, like a little library of these. Um, personally, I think they're overpriced. They're about thirty dollars, give or take, depending on where you are. Uh, I think that's a little high, but we digress. Open it up. And there's a nifty little window displaying the actual unit itself. Hey, there I am. Hi. And you got a couple of screenshots of the awesomeness that's within with a little bit of a description and hey, you know, encouragement. Can you do this? Are you are you a rad enough dude to save the president? Bad enough. That's bad, bad dudes. Um, three fun games, and they are fun, I promise you that much. Ooh, there we go. Now here's the thing. This is the first time I'm pulling it out. So maybe the joke is it doesn't work anymore. That's why you send it along to me. <laughs> But here you have the, uh, and I'm going to say this on purpose like this, because I know it bothers a lot of people enough to fucking comment. The manual. Ah, take that, motherfuckers. Typical crap. And your vacuum form shell. This is, this is, the packaging alone here is nice. I see why they try to get 30 bucks for these, but, um, yeah, let's just pull it out. Ooh, actually, um, build quality. Fantastic. I like that it's a matte finish. I really do. Uh, I'm going to turn that light out when we start doing the gameplay. Uh, just so, you know, that doesn't interfere or anything. Buttons actually feel much higher quality than on the other one. And that doesn't feel bad at all. Um, this D-pad. Wow. I, I, I saw this D-pad and I'm like, ah, it's not going to work for me. Because there's no definite yeah, up, down. But I can see that working, no problem. You got your little speaker here. Little My Arcade Insignia. And back here, a couple of stickers to tell you that it also plays those two games. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Um, this kind of reminds me of, and I think he mentioned this too, of, uh, was it the Game Gear? With its little battery humps in the back. That's pretty cool. So let's open this up. 
AAA batteries, four of them. Hey, it just so happens over here in my Rebel mug, my shill mug, I have four batteries I was getting ready just for this purpose alone. So let's load this up. Let's uh, pretend we're a commando and we're loading up a, an arsenal of weapons. I know I'm not the only fucking person who does that, right? Ever since I was a kid, this always reminded me of loading up weapon magazines. Not clips. They're magazines. All right. And then we will fire this up. Nice little lanyard. It's a nice touch. Then fire it up. My arcade. All right. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do about all the glare and the reflection. So hopefully when the game starts, hopefully when the game starts, it'll, it'll be good enough. Now there's a sound thing here. Oh, okay. So it looks like we got two or three settings on uh, on the sound. Okay, I'm gonna have to move my head to the side here. So it looks like we got the NES ROMs, which I'm fine with. I know a lot of people would be like, "Whoa, why don't we have an arcade? Why don't we have the arcade ROMs?" All right, yeah, Gallagher works fine. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the other games here real quick. Pocket Player, Galaxian. That's what's up. I I don't know why I like this one more. I like the shooting sound better. Debating, does this play right? You know what it is? I'm just so used to the 2600 port. Sounds great. You know, I thought this thing was going to sound wicked tinny. Oh, shit, I wasn't paying attention to it. I thought this was going to sound tinny. Um, overall, no, this is, this is great. Should I clear the board? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you endure that. You're clearing the board. If you haven't noticed, I, I prefer it when they come down. <laughs> I'll sit here and wait for them to come down all day long. I'll get my 25 cents worth out of that machine. People will be like, dude, just play the fucking game. God, this is hard to do through a viewfinder. <laughs> How do you reviewers do this crap? I'm not a reviewer. Oh, you bastard. I have to say, this this feels great. This plays this plays fine. I think the true test to this machine is going to be Xevious. For real, though. Because that one, you, you have to do a few things. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, I got you, you motherfuckers. All right, let's play some Xevious, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. We're not going to play too much of Xevious. I just want... I'm just curious as to how it plays. I prefer... And I know a lot of people are going to differ. But I actually prefer the 7800 port of this game. Over the NES. The NES is the one I grew up playing. Believe it or not. But I prefer the 7800 port. This screen looks great. This screen looks fantastic. Oh, shit. Looks fantastic, in fact. All right, that's cool. Let me, uh, let me put this all back together. I'll give you my final thoughts. Or maybe I'll just keep playing. Cool. So, overall, what are my thoughts on the My Arcade Pocket Player Galaga featuring Galaxian and Xevious? I think it's fantastic. I normally don't like the handheld thing, and I've said that multiple times. Um, this one's comfortable. It's great quality. The screen is big enough to actually see something and play. Um, I like this. I, I enjoy this quite a bit. And much like Willie said, that this will stay in my collection. <laughs> and unlike him, I'm holding up to that. Ooh, I think the kids will enjoy this. I'm going to let them play it as well. And like I said, these are great for the backseat of the car. We, we take trips a lot of times in the summer. Well, this summer is the case. I don't know. But we tend to take a lot of trips. We go up to that Canby Lake Park. And we like to do all kinds of things. There's a place here in Mass called Rockport, which is a little slice of heaven on Earth. 
But regardless, uh, perfect to throw these in the back seat as long as they don't fuck it up because this is mine. They can have their my arcade thing, but this one's mine. Just let me finish with mummy and then give me back my handheld. But regardless, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Don't forget, we are still up until September doing the fight against Alzheimer's. There's a link down below. If you'd like to give us a donation, it goes directly to the Alzheimer's Association. I'll see a dime of it so you don't have to worry about some shady shit. I greatly appreciate it, as well as millions of others who greatly appreciate it. Every 60 seconds, someone comes down with Alzheimer's. They'll appreciate it. Believe me. They'll appreciate it. And if you don't have to give, that's awesome. Please share the link. That helps out equally as much, if not more. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten multiple donations from one person who, who just didn't have a spare few bucks, but decided to share it. And I got a couple donations through that, so... Everything you guys can do to help support this. And your support has been amazing so far this year. And uh, I look forward to continuing this campaign and having some more fun. And with that, guys, I hope you're doing well. I really do. Happy Monday. I know a lot of people don't like Mondays. But, hey, it's the first day of the rest of your life and all that shit, you know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye bye